Hi, my name is Ray O'Daniel. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue our multi-part series on high-level features. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the social planner feature in this video. Before we get started, I would appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe and like button for us. Help me out uh, with this particular channel. Also, if you do find the information in this video useful and you'd like to sign up for High Level, I would appreciate it if you can use my affiliate link in the description below. I do get compensated for that. I do appreciate it and thank you in advance. Alrighty, let's get started. As you can see, we're in High Level here. Uh, before we get started talking about the Social Planner feature, what I really want to do is kind of talk about what the Social Planner feature is and kind of um, how it came to be inside of High Level. So High Level saw a need for clients and people to actually post social media accounts all within the same software that they use to do all of their other marketing in. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look here. This really was a substitute for a couple of other ones. Now, I know there's a lot of programs out there that do social media planning and scheduling, one of which I used um, several years ago was Hootsuite. Um, this is one where you can connect all of your social media accounts, multiple social media. You can post, you can schedule your post, you can do all kinds of cool stuff like that. Well, the social planner feature in high level was meant to basically replace this piece of software. So um, in the past, it didn't have that feature. So you still needed to maintain an account with Hootsuite or in this case, um, I pulled up Buffer here as well. I just wanted to show you the pricing on this. Hootsuite is $100 a month for this particular service. Buffer, not so bad. Um, it's basically free with a couple of different accounts, but it does get into sort of a per month per channel cost. Now, keep this in mind per channel. If you have five different social media channels, you can see how the cost on this would rack up. So High Level has really done a great job with integrating this as an additional feature with no additional cost to you other than your standard uh, pricing level. Now, if you're not familiar with the pricing levels, please watch my other video regarding high level pricing and explain um, all of that stuff. I'm not going to go over it in this video, but just to let you know that the social planner is available on any plan that you have with high level. Okay, so now that I've said that and kind of help you understood how bringing this into high level is actually a cost savings to you, I want to show you what that looks like inside here. Um, here we have a demo account and on the left hand side, if we go to marketing, we see there's a new social planner feature um, up here on the menu. Now, this is what the social planner looks like before you get started initially. I just want to show you what this looks like. This is where you have to go in and get it configured. Notice if you look over, if you hover over each one of these social media, we have Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. All of those social media accounts can be connected directly into the social planner. So they have links and connections. This is what it looks like before you actually make the connection. You will have to click on each one of these, log in, get your accounts created and connected. So now that I've shown you that, let's go to an account that actually has everything connected. So here, if we take a look at the social planner, this is what an example of a dashboard would look like once everything is connected. Before we start hopping into the posting part and some of the other features, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, walkthrough of the design layout here. If you look at the top left corner here, the connections, you see these are all the connections that you have to all of your social media accounts. So you can simply <clears throat> connect on your Facebook, Instagram, all those ones we had previously talked about. You can get all of those connected and add those. Now, when you do that, you will see the account stats. So here you will see each account. I'm going to expand this so you can see all of them. Here you will see this particular account, which is a Facebook uh, page where there's 10 posts that we've posted uh, for this. And likewise, you will see all the different posts that you have. If you scroll down here, you will see recent posts. You can kind of see all the posts. This is where you can see scheduled posts in the future. Um, we don't have any in this one right now, but you can schedule them. You can look at the ones that have failed, the ones that are still in draft mode, because uh, you don't have to publish it yet. You can create uh, posts on here and put them in draft mode until you get them 100% ready. Then you can make it live and then you could post it and get it scheduled. So let's go ahead and um, look up here. Uh, if we take a look, we can actually open up the planner. Now this is more of like a calendar view here. So right now on this particular account, I'm gonna actually go back a few months here to the month of November. This is where we had some uh, posts actually scheduled. So you'll see on the calendar, you'll see the day, the time of the day this is, what account it's in. And you'll see this one right here would be different Twitter accounts. 
So you can have different times that hit Twitter, different times that hit LinkedIn throughout the day. All of those things can be scheduled and you can simply look at this calendar uh, moving forward to see what's been posted. If you look, we don't have anything today, but let's just say in the month of March, we can see anything that's been posted in the future, open that up, edit it, and make all the changes that we want before it actually goes live. So that's what this feature um, does. So we're gonna hop back in here. So it gives you just an overall nice calendar view of everything that you have posted coming up. Now, right now, if we take a look here, we can just simply click on new post. Now, I wanna stop here for just a second and just say, the social planner is something that's been introduced here, like I mentioned in the last year. Well, the features on this is continuing to be updated more and more. So if we take a look here, this is one of the newest features that um, were added, the ability to upload a CSV file. So instead of creating a post manually, why not just sit back and have a CSV file or an Excel file that has your post title, your post descriptions, your post attachments, all of these things in here that you want and upload it all at one time. So instead of creating a hundred posts by clicking the new post feature, what you really do is upload it and create a hundred different posts from one file. So you can definitely see the power in that. So if you are an agency and you want to be able to, for instance, upload a whole year's worth of posting for your clients, all you need to do is send them a spreadsheet, a CSV file with all of those posts in it, they can simply take that file, upload it, and create all the posts themselves and do this uh, by themselves. But you've given them the content to create that. So that is a great feature. And one of the more recent features of this is being able to add social media templates. So this is great. I'm going to take a just quick minute here to take a look at some of the templates that, that they've provided. As you see here, here are the categories that you have. Automotive, beauty and fashion, creative, financial, home services. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick holidays for right now. So right now you see there's the holidays. They are still adding templates to this particular library. So you won't find templates for every holiday, but right now, if we wanted to, we could just simply click on the uh, ones for like holiday Christmas and see, hey, here's one that's um, home alone. So if you wanted to use this particular template, you can just simply click on this, select it, and then use it. So these are all nice that you have the ability to pick and choose a template already, and then just simply click continue to create your post. Oh. So I just want to show you that there is a good template library that you can utilize here. And let's just look at one more here, health and wellness. So health and nutrition services. So if you do post for this and you have an allergy uh, post that you like to do, that right there gives you a nice graphic and some text that you can automatically create your posts with instead of having to go find all of these images. So it really is a great feature being able to have this and using the template library. I've been told that this template library is only gonna get bigger and bigger as the features um, begin being used more and more. Right now, what I'd like to do is just create just a basic post manually, just to show you what's available. So if we come here to the post, you don't get a lot of information here. It's not complicated. So you just simply select your social media account, choose what account you want it to go under. And I'm just going to select this right here uh, for my uh, Facebook account here. Now notice that there's checkboxes. So if you want this post to hit multiple different accounts, you can select all those ones right here if you can. Uh, it looks like this one maybe of lost connection, but you can select multiple ones and actually have a preview over here on the right of what those are gonna look like. So I'm gonna unselect this one and select uh, just like Facebook and Twitter. And just um, once we do that, then these accounts are selected. Notice that they're up here in the post too. Type content. And I'm an awful typist, as you can see. Please forgive me on that one here. Uh, but uh, you kind of get the point of what I'm tr trying to do here. You just simply have your content. You can copy and paste it. You can sit back and add your video, your pictures, your images, add all of your hashtags, tag people. You can do all of that stuff in here that you want to. Now, notice when you do this, it does pull up um, your library here. So um, this right here, uh, when you click on this, it uses just your media library. Your video does too. So if you want to use hashtags, you can just simply, um, uh, if you've already had used certain hashtags, you can um, you can utilize that. But 
All of this information is simply here, bold. You've got different videos. You can use different emojis that you want. And over here to the right, you'll just simply see what that looks like. So right now, if we wanted to just simply create an, an image and just pick a particular location, we would see this particular image. Hello, this is Ray. We wanted to say hello. This was an image. <clears throat> and here we could simply click on this. We could say post, schedule post, schedule post for approval. Now, we haven't really talked about this, but if you have... Uh, a much larger social media planning feature, you might actually want something to go to different people. So you might have a, a virtual assistant that does the actual post creation. Then you might have a social media manager that will go in and approve those posts, you know, like a second set of eyes to approve it. And then once that's approved, then that social media post can be approved, moved forward and, and then posted. But for right now, we'll just schedule post and we'll come out here and do this for just Friday, schedule this particular post. And for right now, the time, let's just do 10 o'clock a.m. Schedule this. Now the post has been created. Everything is already ready to go. Now let's take a look and just see down below. If we take a look at the scheduled post, now we actually see this post is coming up. It's been scheduled. And we can also come to the open planner feature and take a look at it and see that this particular post is coming up here in the future. So Overall, you can see the value of this tool, connecting all of your clients' social media accounts, being able to have this additional feature. High Level really hit it out of the park when they came up with this feature because now what they've done is they've taken just another tool that you would have to pay monthly money for and consolidated it all inside of the same tool that you use to run your business and your clients use to run their business. So anyway, I hope you found this useful, helpful. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and have a great day. Hey, I wanna thank you again for visiting my channel and give you one more little thing here. If you are interested in high level and getting some additional high level training, please see the link in the description below. I do have a free course I'm offering that covers everything related to high level and gives you all the information that you need to know. Thank you so much and have a great day.